opens up on a beach with a beautiful girl named Carola and her boyfriend Stefan. They are enjoying their last day of vacation in Kenya. Then they decide to visit a town called Mombasa. On the ferry, she sees a Maasai warrior who is a tribeman and instantly feels attracted to him. When the couple arrive at the town, Stefan decides to go get some pot from an unknown guy. The shady guy tells the couple to follow and wait for him in an alley, but soon the man appears with two other thugs. The couple realizes that they are in trouble and quickly run away as they are being chased. On the way, they run into Maasai warrior again and he easily scares the thugs by his mere presence. The Maasai warriors then escorts the couple to the ferry to keep them safe. Then the couple returns to the city. They miss their bus to their hotel. The Maasai warriors sees this, so they decide to offer them a ride back to their hotel. At the hotel, Carla invites them for a drink to thank them for all their help. But Stefan starts arguing as he doesn't want to spend his last day with the strangers. However, Carla is adamant about spending time with the warriors, so she goes alone. At the bar, Carla and the master warrior, Le Malian, his name, start dancing, slowly getting closer with each other. Just then, Stefan catches them close and instantly get mad at Le Malian. Carla quickly takes her boyfriend away before the fight can escalate and beeps good bite her crush. At the airport, the next morning, Carla gets a second thoughts and decides not to go back with her boyfriend. Frustrated, Stefan lives alone while Carla heads back to find Le Malian. At the bar, she finds out from some fellow Maasai warrior that Le Malian has gone back to his village. So Carla makes her way to the said village. On one of her pit stops to the village, she meets another foreigner named Elizabeth who has chosen to live in Kenya after she had also met a man. Elizabeth warns Carla that if she wants to stay in the village where Le Malian is from, she would have to endure harsh conditions as there is no access to water or electricity in that part of the country. But despite hearing the warning, Carla does not heed her advice and continues to ask her where to find Le Malian. Seeing there is no point in trying to convince her anymore, she tells Carla that she has to wait for Le Malian to come and take her because no one is allowed to go to the Maasai village without an invitation. So Carla stays at Elizabeth's home waiting. After 10 days, Le Malian goes to find her and both of them instantly feel an intense connection towards each other. The two soon start holding hands. After spending Spending the night together, Limalian takes Carla to his village. He introduces her to the member of his family and takes her into his small home. After hanging out with his family a little, Carla decides to find Limalian who is hunting. She sees her now boyfriend drinking blood of a haunted goat and gets shocked by the culture. She then goes back and waits for Le Malian to return. When he does, she tries to cuddle with him, but Le Malian pushes her away as it is against his culture for a man to be intimate with the women when others are present. The next day, Carlo finds out about more culture difference such as women aren't allowed to undress to take a bath in front of men. Later, a customs officer comes to find Carlo in the village where he tells her that foreigners are not allowed to stay with Maasai tribe unless they are born there, married to a resident in the tribe or having some kind of a special visa. So in order to stay longer, she and Le Malian go to the city together to get an extended and a special visa. When they arrive, the couple start having some alone time and their love soon grows stronger. But one night, as Le Malian goes to buy food in the store, Carla faints out. Le Malian quickly finds out she has malaria and goes to treat her. After she recovers, Carla decides to buy a truck and together they drive back to the village. They then take Le Malian's family out for a trip in the truck, but just then Le Malian's mother starts scolding him for letting a woman drive. With no choice, Le Malian takes the wheel but soon crashes the truck. This enrages Carla, so she starts scolding Le Malian, making him leave. Realizing she overreacted, she quickly drives to Le Malian and apologizes and they all head back to the village. As days pass, Carla's visa run out again, so Le Malians ask her to marry him, to which she agrees. However, she tells Le Malian that she has to go back to Switzerland, her home country first, to say goodbye to her family and to settle some personal affairs. With no choice, Le Malian lets her leave while Carla promises to return. At Switzerland, Carlos' announcement of marrying a tribeman causes her family to be upset. Her family try to warn her that she is making a big mistake, but she doesn't listen and insists on getting married. The next day, she goes to close down her closing business and returns back to Kenya to marry Limalian. On the day of wedding, Carlo puts on a traditional white wedding dress while Limalian is in his warrior garb and the two finally become husband and wife. 
The next morning, Carla wakes up and sees the women of the village circumcising a young girl. Shocked by this, she calls Emelian over to try to stop them, but he doesn't do anything and says that it's a tradition for a girl to become a woman. Carla leaves upset. Things soon start to become worse when Carla, who is now pregnant, decides to open a shop to sell food and drinks. But Lemelian does not like the idea because women in the village are supposed to just stay at home to take care of the family. They soon get into an argument but suddenly one of the tribe's people finds Carla and takes her to a pregnant woman who has collapsed. Carla quickly asks people around for help but they don't assist her as they think the pregnant woman has been cursed. Carla eventually gets the woman on the truck and she quickly heads to the city. However, the truck unfortunately breaks down and eventually the child and mother's belly passes away, leaving Carla sad and traumatized, finding her new life hard to adapt. After a little while, she finally starts her shop and because of her business experience, her business flourishes. But Limalian starts to get bitter of his wife's success as he feels he's no longer the provider of the family. He also starts feeling jealous of other men as Carla is always smiling to the male customers, making him feel disrespected. One day, Limalian confronts his wife thinking she is cheating on him. Carla tries to convince him that she is not cheating on him but Limalian does not believe her and storms out. The couple's relationship soon gets worse when Carla finds out that Lemalian has been giving away free food and drinks to all his friends. She tells him that the shop is a business and that he can't keep doing that. They soon get into another fight and Lemalian leaves. One night, Carla goes into labor and is rushed to nearby hospital in the city to give birth. Luckily, she successfully gives birth to a healthy baby and the couple celebrates this joyful location back in the village. The next day, Carla goes back to check on her shop but she finds out that her shop has no more products due to Lemalian's constant generosity. So the following days, she starts being strict with Lemalian's friends and doesn't allow them to have free stuffs anymore. Lemalian tries to stop her but she doesn't listen to him. As months pass, Lemalian slowly starts feeling he is no longer the man in the family as Carla is now a successful business owner and he is just a helper in the store. One night, he loses it all and calls his wife a prostitute as he thinks she sleeps with her customers to get them to buy from her shop. They soon get into a heated fight but other men from the tribe stop Limalian before he can do anything worse to his wife. The next morning, a frustrated Limalian cuts off his hair and dresses in modern clothing and finds Carla. He asks her if she respects him now since she is always smiling at other men dressed like that. A man then walked in and he immediately thinks the man is sleeping with his wife. Luckily, Carla managed to stop him and a frustrated Lemalian leaves. Later, back at the village, Carla tells her husband that she wants to take her daughter to Switzerland to let her family meet her and he agrees to it. As she leaves, Lemalian starts getting suspicious of her when Carla asks him to sign a form at the immigration center. Being unable to read, he questions his wife about it, but she says it's nothing, so he eventually signs it. He asks Carla to promise him to return back to him, and she promises. She then boards the bus, but just before she leaves, Lemalian says that he knows she won't be coming back anymore. Carla doesn't say anything and leaves. The movie ends with Carla shedding a tear as she leaves her life with Lemalian behind, maybe forever. <laughs>